Hi guys. Today I wanted to talk to you guys a little about friendships and maybe go into a little bit of my type of friendships. Um, and the only reason I'm, I really want to talk about this is because recently I realized that I never knew what it meant to outgrow somebody. And I feel like I've grown a lot. I feel like a lot, especially in the last year. And I just, when I came into contact with one of my friends, I, you know, we used to have a lot in common when we first met and we were probably in the same stage and phases in our lives. And we're not like that anymore and I didn't realize that until I saw them again and it's not that like I don't want to be friends with them anymore it's just that I don't have anything in common like I used to and it's not I don't know it's just we used to be so good um, in our lives for each other and I just feel like things happen and things change and we just started doing our own different things and sometimes you can have like things go on in your life that are for the positive but sometimes it's <laughs> it doesn't leave room for friendships that were dear to you at one point and <sighs> so I don't know I like like the quote says you know some people come in for a season some people come in to teach you a lesson or you know some people come in you know to stay in your life and really be a part of it and really make a, a significant impact and I've always been jealous of people who have best friends because I've always wanted whether it be on a TV show that I see someone with a best friend or like like Girl Meets World I don't know if any of you have ever checked that TV show out I I'm a nerd um, I love the Boy Meets World but Girl Meets World I've watched and I'm very jealous of, you know, the friendship that she has and I kind of like the friendship that her and her best friend have because they kind of, they kind of, I don't want to say complete each other. Sorry, I got a scab that I'm picking on. But like one of them, one of the girls keeps the other one grounded and the other one's more of a rebel and she gets her to do some crazy and wild and adventurous things and not that every best friend or every friendship should be like that but I've never I've always thought when I've become close with someone that's my best friend and usually they have other best friends or they have another best friend and they don't really consider me that way or I feel like I've had a lot of friends like whether it be like betray my trust or just kind of fallen out um, I've never had a best friend and I've always wanted a sister <laughs> I never my mom gave me brothers um, but I've I've always wanted one and I always feel like I found one and then something happens where it's not I've never I've never been able to call I have a lot of good friends I just don't feel like I've ever been able to call anyone my best friend and as I get older I feel like it's harder for me to trust like when I was younger I was super naive and I feel like as I get older I get wiser about how people really work and I can usually tell or I get a pretty good vibe from people 
so I can tell if they're genuine. And I don't know, I just, it's not hard for me to make friends, it's just hard for me to like, feel like keep them. And I don't know, that's why when uh, my, my two girls, I think it's awesome that they have each other because I feel like they could really look at each other as their best friends. And I'm not saying you have to be related in order to be a best friend, but I don't know. I just, it's just super hard for me to like, I get super, um, upset like when I try to like make contact or try to hang out with someone and either I feel like I'm being ignored or I feel like they don't make time for me and I get it like now as a mom of three I get that you get busy because I get busy but I seriously try just for my own sanity try to like do something um whether it be like an all girls thing or just hanging out with one of my girlfriends or something. And I feel like if you can be on Facebook or you could put time into stuff like that, that's like, I'm not saying Facebook is a time waster, but I feel like, cause I know a lot of people do networking on there. Um, on a lot of social media platforms, I do my networking on there. So I'm not saying it's, not it's not a complete time waster like I could totally I get lost on it sometimes if I'm like looking through my news feed but if I'm on there actually working and trying to network and stuff like it's a very good tool but I feel like if you can make the time to go on there to read other people's business you should make the time to like reach out and say to a friend, hi, how are you? You know, especially one that you haven't talked to in a while. Um, I used to be, I used to get mad all the time if people didn't reach out to me, but like, like everybody says, the phone works both ways. So I try, um, if I remember and if I'm wanting to check up on people, I try to, um, like hang out, but I used to get super mad before, like I would hold it against people, but now it's like, I kind of see it where, especially as, you know, you have kids and stuff, the time just slips away from you. And I've, I've done it, um, where I've read a text and I completely forget to answer back just because like one of the kids has said something or they want me to get something and I put the phone down, but. I don't know, friendships, I have never been the type to be friends with bossy people. There have been bossy people that come into my life, I'm friends with them for a little while and then I say bye bye because I don't have any time for that kind of, I don't do well. I had a friend that was younger than me and you know, you go to friends for advice and stuff, but like I would ask her for advice and she would like completely get mad at me if I didn't take her advice. And she was like the worst person to look up to. Like she had the best boyfriend. Like we would go out and hang out and I, it, it would just be the three of us and I would like pay go to pay for myself or like um I never wanted him to like pay for me and he would always make me like he would always say don't worry about it Giselle I got it and she treated him horribly like she treated him like complete crap and it broke my heart because the guy was so phenomenal like and I remember she would swear at him and even if she did in a joking way it was like all the time where it's like I feel like he doesn't like it and he just doesn't know how to tell her 
and he didn't want to make a big deal about it but it was just super crappy the way she treated him and then I come to find out that she cheated on him and it's just so I I didn't last long being her friend because I just I didn't like the person she was she tried to boss me around she was a total jerk to um this guy and so yeah I've never dealt very well with bossy friends and I've noticed as I get older I feel like I can really what if if you're my age or older I can totally um like relate to someone not that I have a problem with younger women but I feel like I just I don't feel like we vibe and and it's it, it, if it's like a couple years younger it's not a big deal but like women a lot younger than me like I hi hello whatever but um I have a hard time vibing with <laughs> women that are younger I feel and women that are older oh my god I have so many women just from meeting at work that I absolutely love like love 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 like, and I love hanging out with them, and they're just amazing women. I really look up to a lot of them. And, um, I feel like I just don't vibe with people I feel like are fake. I'm not a materialistic person. Um, I'm not a superficial person, and I think people can usually tell this about me, um, when they meet me. I remember being in high school and a lot of people, um, there was a few people that I could feel didn't like me and then I came to find out that they thought I was snobby and I didn't understand why they thought I was like that and it was because I was super shy so they thought I was like looking down at them or something and I was like no, not at all, I'm just very quiet, very reserved, very, not standoffish, I just... I've I've come out of my shell a lot more now obviously um posting stuff here and I'm just I've become very outspoken. I do tend to be shy sometimes, but m the majority of the time I'm, I'm I can especially once you get to know me, I can be pretty outgoing. But yeah, I I just feel bad because I don't know when I realized that I outgrew this friend of mine I felt bad like like I did something wrong for outgrowing them and I didn't I just I'm not in the same like position in life as they are and I'm not saying I'm better than them or they're less than me not at all we've just grown in different ways and we don't have we we definitely have different views on different things and and we don't have I don't know it's just I don't see them often I've tried and I don't feel like it used to and I don't know I I feel like this person has met other people through different things that they've done and I feel like those people have become more important and I don't know I just it was a different feeling for me to feel that because that's never people always say oh you you'll outgrow them or this person has outgrown that like as an object not as like a friendship or a, any type of relationship and it's funny when you hear stuff like that and then you actually feel them it's like wow that's crazy that that's what that means and that's exactly what I felt recently and like I said it's not that I'm gonna stop talking to them it's just that you realize I, it made me realize that I have grown so much probably since the last time I saw them which has been like a year 
And I know that's not a lot of time, but I feel like I've grown so much in just that little bit of time. And it's taught me to look back and like really realize like and reflect on just how much I've changed in a year and just my way of thinking or my views I think my views have always been kind of like the same but they've grown in how I feel about them but yeah I just wanted to get on here and and talk to you guys and I'm not saying this friendship um in any way was toxic because she this person has always been a really great friend since the beginning but things change people move away people get different careers people divorce or have kids and and you just don't don't you don't mesh well anymore but this I wish it were different because I really considered her to be like a sister and I do miss her. It's just, it doesn't feel the same anymore. Like even our conversation was just, it's just sad for me right now. I kind of, it's sad that it doesn't feel the same like it used to. But yeah, so... I just want to let you guys know that not everybody in your life is going to be there for you to support you through things that happen and go on, but as long as you have like a few friends, like everybody's always about a popularity contest like on Facebook, like my dad and my brother, they literally are always competing on who has more friends. I don't really have a lot. I'm very weird about who I accept <laughs> um, as far as friend requests. But, like, even in school, I was never a popular... Like, I didn't care about stuff like that. I was never a clicky person. So, what I'm trying to say is, as long as you have, like, those few good friends that are you know that are true, because there's a lot of fake people out there, that's all you really need. And it's, it's okay to outgrow friendships or friends um sometimes you might even outgrow family because let's be real it's not like you can pick your family so sometimes you're kind of stuck with what you got um but yeah it's okay if that happens um you know it doesn't mean that you love them any less it's just you guys are in different places in your life right now so um don't don't let go of them in your life even if you know you can still try to keep that friendship alive I'm just I'm just in a different place so I just wanted to come on here and and tell you guys if you ever feel like you know you're just I don't know good friends are very hard to come by so just keep that in mind and stick to your intuition and your gut feeling. Because <laughs> like I said, there's a lot of people there that will pull the wool over your eyes. I've That's happened to me in relationships. So that's for another video. Um, but I hope you guys liked this video. It was just more of my thoughts. My inside thoughts on, you know, what I've been feeling recently. Um, so share, like, and subscribe for more videos, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.